Hi, welcome to Cat Spit Productions two color print demonstration. Today I will demonstrate a very simple two color print with a flash cure. So what we'll be doing is we'll be printing the first color, then we'll flash cure it, and then we will print the second color. And we're going to show you how that's done. Okay, so the first thing to do is to get your shirt on the pallet with some adhesive. This spray adhesive is made to hold the shirt to the pallet and keep the shirt from moving in between prints. So what that means is that the adhesive will keep the shirt in this same position as I go from the first print and I pull the screen up and it wants to pull a little bit of the shirt up the adhesive will keep it tacked down to the pallet and prevent any registration problems okay so we have our shirt down so we go ahead and print the first color There's the first color on the shirt. It's wet at this point. If we were to go ahead and print the second color now, what would happen is a portion of the ink that's already laid down on the shirt would pick up on the back of the next color screen, therefore reducing the amount of ink that you've already put down here. It will also cause your resolution to become more blurry. Now there are different types of printing methods. Uh, some people like to flash all their colors in between and like I said that gives you increased resolution but other people like to print wet and what that does is it speeds up the printing process quite a bit so that we would print this color and then all the subsequent colors down on top of this would be printed wet and uh, we'll get more into that in the future okay but let's go ahead and flash cure this so we pull our flash curing unit over and we're going to flash cure this. This is, like I said, a flash cure unit. All it is is a big square infrared panel that is emitting heat. And what we're doing here is the same thing that would be done in the curing dryer, except not all the way. We're only trying to get it to cure just to the touch, so that when you touch it, there's no ink coming up on your finger. And let me add uh, that you can do this kind of touching test as long as you, you bring your finger down on the print and directly up. Directly down, directly up. Okay, And then even if it's wet, you're not going to ruin your print. If you do your test like this and slide it, you're going to smudge your print. So what you do is directly down, directly up, and you look to see if there's any ink on your finger. There's no ink on my finger. Okay, so basically the flash curing portion of this is done. Also, keep in mind that if you're working with 100% cotton shirts and you flash too long, the 100% cotton will shrink and cause your design to be out of registration. So always flash just to the point at which you need the ink to be, and that's it. Okay, so now we're coming to our second color. It's a white. And that's it. There's the second color. At this point, we would pull the shirt off and put it in the dryer and cure the ink for good. Okay, so that's it. Simple two color demonstration. Okay, so it's important to note at this time that if you're doing, like I mentioned earlier, 100% cotton garments, especially uh, fleece or like Hanes beefy tees where where the 100% cotton is substantial, uh, you need to be careful that when you flash cure, when you flash cure, you're not flash curing too much, which causes the garment to shrink. So what happens is 
is you put your first print down and then you flash cure it. And if you over flash cure it, the design, the print that you just laid down actually shrinks and contorts with the t-shirt so that when you go to your next color and you bring down your next color, the registration is going to be all off and wacky. So if you're having a problem with that or you're concerned with that, what a lot of t-shirt printers will do is load their pallets with shirts, okay, and they go ahead and pre-shrink the shirts, meaning that they will run all the shirts underneath the flash cure unit for a typical flash cure time in order to allow for any shrinking of the garment on the pallet before they begin to print their multicolor job. Okay, so that's what is known as uh, pre-shrink. Okay, so that about wraps it up for today's two-color print demonstration. Uh, at this time, I'd like to thank you again for watching Catspit Productions videos. Stay tuned to the Catspit Productions channel for future releases of Catspit t-shirts, as well as future releases of informational videos from Catspit Productions. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget, subscribe.